Assalamu alaikum, shalaklast. Hello and welcome to Afghan Cooks. I'm Miriam. I'm the Afghan who cooks. Today we're going to be doing Afghan bakes. It is holiday season, not for Muslims, but why not? We like a little holiday cheer. And if you want to bring something to a holiday party, creme rolls, okay? Cream rolls and parsla, we call them creme roll. So, here are the ingredients for cream roll pastry. Ready? I'm going to say that there are two separate sets of ingredients, one for the creamed filling and then one for the actual pastry. And we're going to talk about what you need for the pastry first. And for that you need, it's three and a half cups of flour. It's a white all purpose flour, four eggs. I have four tablespoons of sugar, granulated sugar here. That's about, that's a quarter of a cup. Same four tablespoons of vegetable oil. I have some salt, we're just gonna use a pinch of salt. And I have a half a cup of water. Those are the ingredients for the pastry dough. Melted butter, once your dough is done, that's gonna help you create those flaky layers as we go through. For the filling, what you're gonna need is some heavy cream, powdered sugar, a little cardamom. You're gonna roll it in powdered sugar, and here I have some crushed pistachios as well. <laughs> I just wanted to try it. It didn't work so well. I'm gonna crack four eggs. Now these cream rolls, or as we like to call it, creme roll, are really good with any one of the chai's recipes that we have. Now we didn't have, um, creme rolls in my house when I was growing up and you couldn't really buy them the Afghan style or even the Middle Eastern style in any sort of bakery. You would get more like a cannoli or some sort of like filled puff pastry shell. And I gotta be honest, I don't love the ones you get at the store now either, mostly because I feel like the cream has uh, an aftertaste, a chemically taste because they use a stabilizer. The beauty of these creme rolls is that you can eat like six of them. They're really light. Okay, we're gonna add the oil and the sugar. I'm gonna add one nice teaspoon of salt. Stir all of this together. Last time I made this, when I was experimenting to see how it went, I added the flour with the whisk. This is a bad idea. Learn from my mistake. Do not stir flour with a whisk. Tanan creme roll jorda, yeah. Sha? Wa mor te jorka, wa khala te de jorka, di bader tawai chi yu. Jani, sta tsing sha sh bazis dada, usti bayd warku. So we have a word that we use for um getting somebody married off. We actually say that we give them wareka, meaning give it to them. And so when you're ready to be married, the word that they say, the phrase that they use is what meaning are you giving her? We're like a nice little present. I could have a whole conversation with you about Islamic marriage while I make creme rolls. If you want to talk about Islamic marriage and Afghan marriage, it's very interesting. In Kandahar, they don't date. Not even like, there's no engagement and then dating. What they do is they actually do a religious marriage, nikah. So they get you married and then you get married again, but then you get to wear the white dress. Okay, we stir this together. So now we're gonna add the water to this and stir it some more. is super sticky right and baking is a funny thing because you have to just trust yourself okay if it's sticky like this you need more flour okay you need to add more flour you'll know this is not the kind of dough you want you don't want it to be this sticky you want it to be nice and add small amounts of flour if your dough is sticky add it one tablespoon at a time okay don't go and grab a measuring cup and put in, you know, a cup of flour or a half a cup of flour because then what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be going back and forth over and over again. Okay, now we wanna knead this for several minutes. 
Okay, I added about another tablespoon of flour and that was plenty. Now remember, there's no yeast in this, there's no leavening at all. You're just going to put it in the cling wrap so it doesn't dry out and so that it can rest, okay? If you've ever tried making a dough or even bought like from Trader Joe's or something, the pizza dough, and when you try to roll it out, it springs right back, it's because it needs to rest. We're going to let it rest for about 20 minutes. One of the things that you need to make creme rolls are molds. Now there are lots of places online where you can check on how to make them yourself. I think the first time I did this I made them myself. It's fairly easy, it just requires some aluminum foil. I'm sure you can do it. You can order these on my website, um, in my online shop. If you go to afghancooks.com you will be able to click on the tab that says shop and you can buy these molds. You can also buy these. These are totally fine, these little creme horn molds, either one. Um, I think we're going to be doing both today. They work exactly the same way and we will show you the first thing we're going to do is butter, grease these molds. I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I have some parchment paper here. Karakshana, Sony Shorter. I have my brush and I have my melted butter that I'm going to be using for my dough in just a minute, but we're going to take some of this. We're going to brush it right onto the mold and then just put it down. So now I have my dough. It's been resting. I'm going to cut it in half here. Just easier to work with, not using one giant roll. We're going to use just half at a time. You want to roll this into a rectangle. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your butter and spread it all over. And now this is where we get our layers. We're going to fold it over once like this then fold it over again like this and fold it here like this and then here like this. Okay. And now we're going to take this, we're going to wrap it in some cling film and we're going to stick it back in the fridge for about 10 minutes. We have this, it was in the fridge for 10 minutes. Now we're going to roll it out into a rectangle again. Okay, so now what I have is a pizza cutter. Go in this direction, about one inch thick each one. Okay, we're going to get this out of there. You take our mold that's been buttered and you start from the top, just hold it down and overlap. Overlap. I'm going to take these, I'm going to pop them into my preheated oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. We'll start at 20. We'll see how it goes. And then if we need more time, we'll put it in for more time. So at 20 minutes, I checked on my cream roll uh, pastry and it was not done, but I went in and I turned them over and I set it for another 10 minutes. And in the meantime, we are going to make our filling. Here I have some heavy cream. <laughs> okay. Well, and here I have, um, powdered sugar. I'm going to start with two tablespoons. You don't have to sift it. I don't even really know why I'm sifting it. And I'm going to add 
one teaspoon of ground cardamom, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Grab our hand mixer. We have our whipped cream. Perfect. Those are absolutely perfect. I'm going to leave them here to cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the topping ready. So here I have just a plate. I'm going to add powdered sugar to this plate. We have our crushed pistachios here. This thing gets rolled completely in powdered sugar and then sprinkled in pistachios. I think I'm supposed to stand over here. I'm standing over here. So here I have a pastry bag. I'm going to put the whipped cream in it. I cut just a hole on the end. You have to make sure that your pastries are cool because otherwise the whipped cream will melt. You don't want melty whipped cream. Make sure you cover them really well in the powdered sugar. Now this is just half of the dough, okay? And I think I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can make 20 from the dough. Okay. So then what you're going to do is we're going to take our pistachio and we're just going to sprinkle it over the top. I did on a couple of these, I put some on the ends, as you can see, if you want to do that, you can do that too. It's super flaky and light, and the outside is crunchy and crispy and sweet, and it's not too sweet either. Friends, we have a great new um, affiliate program with a fantastic spice company called Burlap and Barrel. They're a small company. And if you go to our website, afghancooks.com, you will see our affiliate link. If you buy something from them using that link, you sponsor us or you help us here at the channel. We appreciate that. I want to talk to you about subscribing. Number two, hit the bell icon so that you can be notified every time we have a new video up. And number three, give this a thumbs up. Put a comment in the comment section. The algorithm loves it when we engage with each other and it helps to build this beautiful Shaista Shaista community. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.